Hi, I'm Ishan. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I want to talk about five skills that every college student should learn to stay updated in the current world. It's not that academics will only help you to get a job or get a good career. You need to learn few things and these few things no one will tell you. Even in colleges or even in the external world, no one will tell you. People will always tell you to learn programming. People will always tell you to learn technical skills. But apart from the technical skills and apart from your core skills, you need to learn these five skills to stay updated and to stay relevant to the opportunities that you will get in the future. The first in the list is networking networking is a very very important skill especially as a student because networking will not only to help you to make new connections it will help you to grab opportunities it will help you in your career whether it might be getting an internship getting a job getting a freelancing client getting various other opportunities networking will really plays an important role in your career see often people say network is your net worth so the number of connections the number of healthy and strong connections that you build as a student they will really reflect in your career as opportunities so it is always important to have a good network it's not like you just make some random friends and roam that is not how networking works Networking is like you need to connect with similar minded people. You need to connect with people of high caliber. It is really important to network with multiple people. And second in the list is negotiation. So it is something which is very underrated. No one will actually tell you to learn this negotiation skill. But negotiation is all about saying no or asking more. If you are in an interview and people are asking you what is the salary that you are expecting and they offer you a certain thing. If you feel that you are more worthy than what they offer, you need to ask that. You can ask them like, I need more, like I feel I'm more worthy than what you are offering. Similarly, it will be applicable to everything. You need to open up your dissatisfaction. Like if you are not satisfied with something, you need to open up your mouth and you need to ask them. You need to demand them. That is the only way that you can become successful in your career. Of course, negotiation is something which only helps you a bit in that moment, but in the future, it makes a huge difference. Let's suppose if they were a and B. A is offered a salary of 5 lakhs per annum and B is also offered a salary of 5 lakhs per annum but B feels like he is more worthy than what they were offering so he demanded like I need 6 lakhs per annum because I feel I am more worthy than that. See because he opened up so he might get 6 lakhs per annum. After 5 to 6 years B's salary would be double because a small bit of negotiation will really help you a lot not only in salary negotiation in everything if you're not comfortable with something you need to express that discomfort then only you can make a change trust me it makes a big difference so as a student it is important to learn that negotiation skill if you're not comfortable with something you need to open up if you're not satisfied with something you need to open up if you're not okay with something you need to open up you need to get that guts of asking something which you're not comfortable with trust me it plays a very important role in the future and number three in the list is content writing don't ignore content writing content writing is not just other skill it is something that every individual should habituate it's, it's all about writing that's it writing is not a course or not any other skill it's something which should be common for you even though you are good at something even though you're good at your core things even though you're good at technical skills make sure you write it because when you enter into job or when you are about to explore multiple opportunities in the future you don't need to depend on someone if you are a good writer so it might be writing emails it might be writing social media posts or it might be writing some documents it might be documenting something, it might be anything, but if you are good at content writing, then ultimately it always puts you on top when compared to your peers. So that is something you should habituate irrespective of whatever you are good at, make sure you are good at writing. And number four in the list is Google search. Of course, we might feel that we all know Google search, but not every one of us are good at Google search. See, if you are stuck with something, you should be in a position to figure out by your own. So that is what Google search is because we can literally find everything on Google. Mostly 99% of the things we can figure it out on Google itself, but you need to know to figure that on your own. The reason why I said Google search is important is because it reduces the dependency on others. See, if you don't know how to Google search properly, you always need to depend on someone. It might be for anything. It might be you stuck at something else. If you know how to figure it out by your own, by just doing Google search and exploring results and how to take the good result from the search results, you need to know all these things. It is a very simple thing. You don't need to get trained on Google search, but just try not to ask silly things to people to figure it on your own. Try to figure it out everything on your own. You only need to ask opinions of people. That's it. But for doubts and all, you need to know 
how to figure it by yourself and number five in the list is time management the reason why i'm picking this time management is because see the problem with most of the people is that they complain that they're not getting time see if you are spending eight to nine hours on your college still you have some time but if you don't know how to manage your time then still like even though you have 16 to 17 hours of free time you cannot do anything and you always complain so you need to know how to manage your time you need to know how to focus on your interests and hobbies in your free time that is only possible by effective time management so I, I already made a video previously on my youtube channel on how i manage my time effectively i also shared 10 tips i will also drop that video uh, in the description as a student if you can build the habit of managing time effectively then in the future it will help you to build multiple income streams it will help you to become successful early this is the reason why time management is important the one who manages effectively will get more advantages and benefits than others who are not good at it these are the five things that every student should learn irrespective of the background irrespective of what they are good at i hope it would be helpful please share this video your network also like this video and subscribe to the channel if you are a new visitor thank you